We've got the Elvis impersonator. I don't know if you can hear this at home blaring in the background, but thanks for doing this, uh, Brad. We appreciate it as always. Just a quick thought uh, on your group out of the first, out of the gate there in the first 20 minutes. What'd you see? Well, I didn't like our period. I didn't think. I thought we played slow. I thought we moved the puck slow. You know, we generate some stuff down low, but we, we've got to be a lot better in our end, and I think we can break out a lot cleaner. So hopefully that's a little bit of the, the bus legs here over the last day and a half, but uh, we need to be a lot better than that in the second and third. On the bigger picture side of things, Brad, what have you liked about the way your team has seemingly turned a corner here? Well, I think really, you know, since the end of November, um, you know, there's a lot of things we like about our game right now. Number one, and, and what's going to be the secret um, for us to have any success is limiting chances against. I think we've been a lot better defensively. Um, I think it, it plays into, I think our goaltending's really solidified itself and stabilized over the last, you know, 20 games, let's call it, 18 to 20 games. And, and then, you know, we've sort of, um, you know, leaned on Marky and Danny to be real good. Um, and then we're seeing some individuals sort of, you know, get their game in order. And I think we're, we're generating a little bit more, but I still think there's, there's certainly some areas that we can both collectively and individually get better at. But, you know, by and large, the last month or so, things have been moving in the right direction. Let's talk about an individual, if we could, and that is uh, Nazem Kadri going uh, back to the All-Star game. He seems like he's been a pretty seamless fit here for you. And I knew you knew what you were getting when you acquired him, but he has been a fairly consistent forward for you. What have you liked about his play and the way he's kind of come on here to get that uh, recognition? Well, you're right, Ryan. I think he's come as advertised, right? You know, um, you know, outside of the points, which we lean on him to be an offensive contributor, um, just a competitive nature. He drags people into the fight, um, competitive on both sides of the puck. Um, you know, we're going to need him and, and the rest of those guys we saw it in the first period to, uh, to continue to generate stuff on the power play. But, you know, I thought I thought not start really started the season well. There was a little dip there for a couple of weeks, but um, just as the way he approaches the game, you know, he's he's all in, you know, each night and, and we're going to need that and and everybody following his lead down the stretch here. A couple of players that I think are gar garnishing a lot of uh conversation and that is uh, the call-ups and that is Walker Dewar and Jacob Pelche the first rounder uh, Pelche just uh, what you've seen with him in the American League this year his numbers are good what have you seen in his play that maybe has Flames fans excited well just that he's he's, he's been able to be a driver down there offensively um, but he plays in all situations he kills penalties you know he checks against the other team's top players and as you said he's been a he's been a top offensive player not only you know, this year, but he, even going back to last year, there's not a lot of players at his age that have had the production that he's had um, at the American League level, so he's well-deserving. You know, as we've said, you, you've got to reward people when they've put in the work, and he has, and, and I'm eager to see him up here. Um, uh, and we've got a number of players. I've said it many times. We've got a number of players uh, down in, in with the Wranglers that have had really impressive starts to the year, so hopefully we can see him soon. And and the same thing with Walker. Big body skates well in his role that we would envision him playing in the in the NHL. Um, you know, we think he fits in sort of that bottom six role, a guy who can check and 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 push the pace. Um, so I'm eager to see both of them at some point. Just under a minute to go here, Brad. And I wonder uh, with the trade market, we had a chance to speak with Don Maloney in Seattle after Christmas. I wonder what the market's like right now, how busy it is. and. Maybe kind of what your is on your wish list or your checklist as you are always trying to tinker and improve this club. Tell me about the market and maybe what your desires are on that front. Yeah, I, I think, you know, it's it's still a ways away from the deadline. I think as normal, you know, conversations, managers have those talks. You're 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 continually talking. Obviously, as you get closer to the deadline, things start to pick up. You know, for us first and foremost, we gotta get our house in order and our game in order here. And and you know, I look at I look at you know, players that can supplement our roster, both externally and internally. We talked about the two, you know, the two call-ups here. You know, those are things that I'm eager to see at some point here of what we have, um, you know, within the organization that can help us. And then you continue to look outside. So we'll continue to have those, those, those conversations. I've said really since the start of the summer, if we can continue to add to our top nine group and try to find some more offensive punch um, without, you know, saying that, it's not to, 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 you know, we don't want to start changing the DNA of our team and giving up chances and doing those things. So something that can fit, somebody that can fit with us. Um, easier said than done sometimes, but we'll continue to work away at it. As always, we appreciate the time.